afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Live responsibly, a very simple word in Cambridge Dictionary. But if I just talk about definition here, it's going to be nothing. So what I'm going to talk about here today is actually not the meaning of the word, but it's how we can implement it, especially in Cambodian society. So what are the concepts and the real meaning of this word? I only would like, ladies and gentlemen here, remember four words after my presentations. And those four words begin with letter A, O, L, and S. To begin with letter A, accountable. So be accountable for our actions. What does it really mean? Ask ourselves, are we part of the mass creator? And if we are, do not expect the society to be prosperous. Don't keep saying that our dream to have a very good society, but if we are part of the mass creator, you will never achieve it. And after ensuring that we are not part of the mass creator, please do not stop there. That's not everything yet. We need to move on to second letters. Letter O. Observe people around us. Different society may have different problems, different situations for us to deal with. There can be in terms of poverty, environments, social orders, and many more. And do not blame other people for not solving these issues as ourselves. Do not keep complaining that these problems caused by other people as ourselves. Did we contribute that mess? And how can we solve these problems? It was Coffee and then who said that. When you see something that is wrong, no matter how big the problem is, ask yourself first, who else would like to change this? And it doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't have to be social issues. It doesn't have to be environmental problems. All your small steps count. Look at a society. What can you contribute to the society? Here some, are some examples. When you are walking on the road, seeing people are in need of help. Some people, they suddenly crash on the road. How many of you here have helped them? And ask ourselves, does it consume my time to help them? And I'm sure that little help, that little good thing day by day will make our society better. Another example. How many of you here have been in traffic jams? I believe none of us can avoid this. Why? Is it caused by God? No, caused by us. Ask ourselves, did we create that jam? And ask ourselves. How can we solve that change? Sometimes people are driving, they keep pushing themselves forward. Okay, I'll go first, I'm the guard, I'm the president. I'm the first to go first. I need to achieve my dream. No, because sometimes if you try to push yourself too hard, then the result is gonna be a disaster, not only for yourself, but for the whole society. So in this case, sometimes you only need to drive backward a little bit, allow other people to go first, the James sold. In workplace, for example, not everyone, not all workers are successful. And I'm sure that we cannot have them 100% of their life. But I'm also sure that we can have them some things, whether 1%, 2%, whether in terms of advice, finance, or at least motivations. Some people are very stressed from my experience. They keep sitting down, okay? I don't know what to do next. I have failed this job. I pro this project was 
rejected. I don't know what to do. I studied hard, but I couldn't achieve my dreams. I don't know what to do. Only a few words that you talk to your friends, only a few words that you talk to your coworkers, will motivate them, cheer them up, and possibly lead them to be a successful person in the future. So aren't you happy to have one person who are very sad to become a very successful person? After ensuring that we are not part of the mass creator, after observe people around us, do not stop there. Again, third step, letter L, leadership. Stand up and show your leadership. It was Kofi Annan again who said that, if something has not been done before, it doesn't mean it can't be done. It only means you could be the first to do it. When I was in high school, I was expecting university students to solve environmental issues. When I come to university, I was expecting those who work to solve environmental issues, to solve social issues. And when I go to work, now I'm expecting my boss to solve these issues. So how can the problem be solved? It's going to be long lasting. My boss say, no, that's not their task. That's government task. It would be a disaster for the society if everyone think like that. How? How here doesn't mean how to live responsibly. But how here is the major point that I would like ladies and gentlemen to remember and implement afterward. How we can maximize our contribution to the society. When I was in primary school, for example, okay, I want to live responsibly. I don't throw any waste on the road. I don't create any mess with the society, but the level of contributions would be very limited, would be very small. So how can we maximize it? Knowledge is the power which can maximize our contribution to the society. But again, having knowledge is nothing to me now. Why? Because having knowledge alone is not the real power. The real power is how we use that knowledge. How can we use that knowledge correctly? Questions. And how? We have one knowledge. We do not share to other people. How, gonna, how can that be useful? So sharing your knowledge is the best way to use your knowledge. Why? No, I don't need to share, because when I share, people are going to compete with me. When I share, the job opportunity is going to be very limited. Is that right? At the beginning, I thought like that as well. But a big no came up to me. Because sharing is learning. When you share, you learn from other people. Because sharing is improving. Because when you share, you get feedback from other people. And last but not least, no one is perfect. Sharing is going to lead you to corrections. And of course, the only way that you can learn more knowledge day by day is by sharing your knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. This was my life when I was very young. I'm very individualist. I try to work individually. I try to make uniqueness within myself. And I'm can guarantee you. People who know me in high school, people who know me in secondary school, I didn't share my knowledge. And actually, I achieved some things by that one. I won gold and silver medal in mathematics nationally. But ladies and gentlemen, that's only part of my life. That's only a very small part, very small achievement in my life. Let's see later on. Until one day, I participated in International Mathematical Olympiad in Spain. I was expecting gold medal, silver medal in that competitions. Let's see is my result. I ranked 424 among only around 500 participants. I scored only five over 42. And sure, I didn't achieve any award. I was very disappointed. 
I was expecting gold. Where's my gold medal? No, I couldn't get it. And from that experience, led me to realize one thing. I was actually only a big fish in a small pond. I was only a good person comparing to a few persons. But why should we do that? We need to improve everyone, push everyone together to achieve one dream, which everyone are on the peak, not ourselves are on the middle of the mountain. And I came up with new ideas. I realized that if among six candidates from Cambodia have shared our knowledge, we would have done better. I can say that not only me didn't get any medal, but all six candidates from Cambodia didn't get any medal. Why? Simply because we work individually. We didn't share our knowledge. That a big mistake I've been through. And afterward, I feel that I need to push culture of sharing because without sharing, I can only be a good person, but I will never be a great person. And also, I will push the next generation to achieve what I couldn't achieve. I start writing book. This is my first book. Actually, at the outlook, it seemed very good, but everyone cannot imagine when I wrote that first book. Every single page has a mistake. And I got a lot of complaints. Even the cover, you might know that there is a mistake on the cover within the literature. So I made a lot of mistakes within that first book. But I never feel regret writing that first book. Why? Because I have shared all my knowledge. Even though my knowledge is not 100% right, but I have shared it to Cambodian generations before I move on to the law majors. And the second step, I create another group of people. It was very small, three people, but with such a nice logo. Three people to create one group. And actually, that group began for a few months with no activities. So I was thinking of myself, why I need to create that group? And I start new idea that I need to write a blog. That first blog was in English version. And actually, you can see there is no professionality within the blog. It was like kids. But among people that work together, we have share our knowledge, share our document, share our advice on that blog. And later on, we have created another blog, which is in Khmer version. Still, these two blogs cannot contribute much to the society. But we just do our best in order to contribute to the society. I know that as a high school graduate, I could not have big knowledge to share with all of you. But I just push all the knowledge I know to other generation, to the next generation of Cambodia. And later on, we create an official website, group cmg.org, but now it's under construction. Why? Because I'm pushing another group of people in order to enlarge our scope, not only limited to mathematics, but to physics, to other subjects. That's why we are trying to create new things. This was our activities. After a few months of blocking, we start free training for high school students. But you can imagine, on the first day, there were less than five people participating. I was thinking, what? How many people? I was announcing throughout the high school, since what, but to high school, and I see only four, four people. But the number of students didn't disappoint me because it kept increasing from one term to another. Until one day, on June 9, we cooperated with Illinois Mathematics and Science Academy to create an international standard training. And also, 
we create a competition for Cambodian students. This was something that four years ambitions have done. But it's still not a big thing yet. Because you can count that the number of participants still limited to around 30, 20 people. How about the rest of Cambodians? How about 10 million people? How about other kids? And also, so far we have written from one book to six books. But again, I still say that our contribution toward the society is very low. We haven't achieved our dream. Remember what I said? I would like Cambodian people, Cambodian students to achieve what I couldn't achieve. But so far, four years, we haven't achieved, got any student to achieve that middle yet. That was very disappointing. But I keep proving myself together with the next generations to promote these sectors. And I believe many of you here also have this dream. And if you do not have now, start your dream. Our group believe that we did not need to hold PhD in order to teach elementary. We only need to know what we want to share. We actually, for example, when I wrote my first book, I might need to have a whole bachelor degree, PhD, but remember at the first time, I just graduated my high school. And I know I made a lot of mistakes, but why can't we share? Because remember, sharing is learning. Sharing is improving, and sharing is correcting. This was another experience of my life. I went to an organization, volunteered to teach English. I walked past a room, seeing a few kids play a little game. I was thinking, what that game called? How to play that game? I walked and asked them, what's that game? You know what that game is? How many of you do not know this one? But you can't imagine that I didn't know this game at that time. And I was like almost 18, 17, 19 years old. And I didn't even know a small part of the society. And I learned it from a little kid. The idea is here that knowledge can be from anywhere, anyone. It doesn't have to be learned from PhD people. As long as you want to learn it, everyone can share your knowledge. And you can learn it from a variety of sources, just like I did. Last time, I was thinking of creating uniqueness within myself. But from this experience, I realized that just because you are unique, doesn't mean you are useful. Just because I know mathematics, just know, because I know English, doesn't mean I'm useful. Because I only use it for myself. How about the rest of Cambodia? How about the rest of the world? If we do not share our knowledge, we are not useful, I can say. I find myself useless when I less use my knowledge. So there are many ways that you can use your knowledge, whether you can teach to other people, whether you can create a job by your knowledge. But one way, and one way that I think the best is sharing your knowledge. Because sharing your knowledge is not only promoting other people. It's promoting and improving, building up your capacity as well. Here I am today. After a long experience, I try to left my society. And I move on to my dream, to be a lawyer in the future. And from that experience, I had that to mind myself. OK, I need to share my knowledge in order to learn law skill successfully, in order to learn law skill effectively and as fast as possible. And here is my result. From that period of sharing, I have become the champion of Cambodian client counseling competitions. And from that experience of sharing, 
I represented Cambodia in international client consultation competition in the Netherlands. A little better than in Spain, which I didn't give, get any medal. I still didn't get any medal. But I at least reached the semi-final. I beat America, I beat England, and many other teams. But still, where's my dream? International medal, where's I can get that? I haven't achieved that yet. But until now, I didn't really enjoy any competition more. But I have another dream. I have a dream to move on to Harvard Law School. And I believe that if I do not share my knowledge, I will never achieve my dream. I can say that if I have shared my knowledge, I don't, I'm not sure whether I can achieve or not. But I'm sure that if I do not share, I will never achieve this dream. Because so far, I know that my knowledge is less than 1% of the knowledge I should know. And I know that many, of peop many people here know more knowledge than I do. And I believe people here can always share knowledge with me. And I believe everyone here can always teach me some things in order to achieve my dream, in order to achieve your dream together. If you want to achieve your dream, no matter what dream you have, share your knowledge. Because only by sharing, you can learn from other people. Without sharing, you will never improve. Again, ladies and gentlemen, lead responsibly. Only forward, I would like ladies and gentlemen here, remember and implement also. Do not just remember and I don't implement. Implement it. A, accountable for our actions. C, B, O, observe people around us. Observe what problem the society is facing. And L, leadership. Stand up. Don't just see the problem and ignore it. Oh, OK, I see a mess. I ignore it. That's not solutions. When you see a mess, solve it. Always lead yourself to solve the problem. Don't wait for other people. And last but not least, we only can maximize our contribution to, for the society by share, share, and share. Ladies and gentlemen, live responsibly, succeed together. Thank you.